Hey everybody, Jay here. Welcome back to the channel. I couldn't make this story up if I tried. Welcome back to the channel. If you're just joining us, first of all, if you like that intro for some reason, if you caught this video and didn't see the last video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up and the subscribe button. But anyways, the steel blower, I couldn't let it go. Um, <laughs> my moral compass was spinning when I picked it up. You are never going to believe this story. So um, I have to thank you guys um, because you, a lot of you, Shane, my good buddy Shane, I think he was one of the first ones that said this. Um, Shane and a few other people, they said, Steel has a database, so call a steel dealer, run the VIN number, and it'll tell you the last owner. <laughs> so this morning, first thing, I work, I work night shift, so uh, first thing this morning, I call the local uh, steel dealer here in town. Um, guess who owns the blower? My neighbor's son. <laughs> I could not make this up if I tried. The guy on the phone said, okay, this, it shows this belongs to, you know, blah, blah. I'm not going to say his name, obviously, uh, for the, for his, you know, security, privacy, whatever. But anyways, I said, oh my God, is that over on blah, blah, blah road? And the dealer goes, well, how are you familiar? I go, I'm his neighbor. And then this, the dealer gave me his number and so on. I already had his number, but, um, cause I used to plow them out before our heavy Chevy, um, uh, took a nosedive, but I couldn't believe that. The blower ended up belonging to my neighbor's. My neighbor um, passed away. He was a World War II vet. Uh, just a widow uh, lives over there now. Again, I'm not going to use their names because I don't know if I even have permission from them. But uh, I talked to my neighbor a few years ago. Um, then COVID thing hit and I didn't really go over. But uh, he was a World War II vet. Just a real man, honestly. 94 years ago, he was 95. Was it? 93 four years ago he's 93 that he passed away at 97 uh, not too long ago I think it was last year um, 94 years old and shoveled the path from his house to his mailbox 94 years old that's probably about a good probably 200 feet before I got over there with the plow truck but anyways I'm very happy to be drinking the same water because hopefully I will be doing the same thing 70 years from now but anyways um, I'd like to thank you guys we returned the blower he actually came over, the uh, son came over this morning, knocked on the door just as I was going to go over there to give it to him. I called him this morning and he was tickled fancy. But come to find out, I found some history on the property next door. Uh, about 60 years ago, it was logged. The property next to ours. 60 years ago, the property was logged. Then they built a house and then they tore it down. And then, you know, 40 years ago, they put a new structure in there. But anyways... I told him that we would be interested in purchasing that it's a six and I think it's a six and a half acre, seven acre lot. Um, whenever they decided to um, sell it, his mom is obviously up in her nineties. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't wish her to pass. Trust me, I would not wish that on anybody. But um, I told the son, I said, the son's in his seventies too. I said, if you know you guys are interested, let us know um, because my brother-in-law will be interested in moving next door to us that would give us another seven acres of land and we can kind of i've been really wanting to circle the wagons if you will with everything going on in today's uh, day and age i would love to have family close by uh, have our own little community here because that's the only neighbor we have except for those new houses which are half a mile through the woods so we want to keep what we have, you know, pretty remote, I guess, if you will. Uh, but anyways, I want to share with you, the leaf blower got returned to its rightful owner. It happened to be my neighbor's son. If I left five minutes earlier, this is why I believe in God. I'm not going to turn this into a faith preach video. If I left five minutes later or five minutes earlier, he would have never got that back probably. Maybe somebody, you know, would return it. But would somebody put the same effort I put into it? I don't know. They'd probably throw in their shed and say, hey, free blower. But um, I'm a man of faith. I'm a man of ethics. And, you know, I believe in karma. So I'm not going to sit here and try to say, um, try to say um, you should be more moral and ethical. Just wanted to share that. So let me know what you guys think. 
leave a comment below and yes we got plenty going on here going forward on the channel so yeah like i always say we will see you on the next episode